let us say I buy a home in New Jersey for $500,000 and I buy and then I take a mortgage for that and I am taking a 30 year fixed mortgage because I had an opinion that interest rates are going up. And then I sign up for the mortgage and I am all set and I am in the home. At the same time, Ed also buys a home for $500,000 in New York and he takes a floating rate mortgage because he had an opinion that interest rates are not going up. After a couple of days, I changed my mind. I wanted to be on the floating side and then I, and then I happened to talk, to talk to Ed about it. And then Ed said, even I wanted to be on the fixed side but I signed up for a floating. Then he came with an idea. Why not we exchange our position? You make all the principals and the interest payment to my bank and I would make all the principals and interest payment to your bank. That was a great idea. By this, both of us were able to hedge our position and take, and take the risk off. Couple of months passed by and I was making all payments to his bank and he was making all payments to my bank. Then we met again and we thought about it. Do I have to make payment to his bank and do he have to make payment to my bank? Why not we net it? Whoever has to make the higher amount of payment on that particular month makes the payment to the counterparty. That is, if I have to make the payment, then I make the payment to him and he makes payment to me the following month if he has to make a higher payment. Yes, this is what happens on an interest rate swap. We net it on, on every payment.